In today's Ark Ascended Mod Spotlight, we check out the amazing map from Ark Survival Evolved called Amisa by the mod developer Sicko. Let's get into it. Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm TBF Gaming. We are doing the Mod Spotlights once again. We did take a little bit of break from this last week as we jumped into some brand new games. We had to take a couple days off for some personal life stuff, but we're back on track today. I might even have an ARC playthrough coming up here really soon with some cool mods. I'm not exactly sure if we're going to be able to get into that or not, but the plan here is to do these at least two to three times a week where we do some Mod Spotlights. Today, we're checking out an amazing map called Amisa by Sicko. The Sicko, the mod developer, has done a really good job on this. Now, this is only about 30% complete. This map is cross play so it is available on uh, consoles there are a ton of biomes this map is absolutely huge but it is very much a work in progress there's a lot of areas that we're going to look at today that are not even quite done they're all flat but i'm going to show you why this map is one of the most amazing maps from arc survival evolved what's so cool about it it's not just the terrain and some of the cool mountains and stuff like that they add that's all amazing but it's some of the cool lived in stuff like this here we're in this little kind of ruins area that's one of the starting spawn points. This is always one of my favorite parts. If you guys ever watched a lot of mod content from like King Daddy DMAC, Froggy Man, or myself on the Ark Survival Evolved, this was a go-to map for a lot of the mods that we play. This was always just a really fun one to play. There's a lot of these really cool little ruins that you can come check out. But yeah, we're going to get into some stuff today. Like I said, not going anywhere with the mod spotlights. I'm not going anywhere with Ark. I'm going to continue doing Ark. I think a lot of people are still playing Ark on the console. Hopefully you guys are still enjoying the content and enjoying the mod spotlights. And hopefully we can do some playthroughs in the future and i'm hoping that when arc's new content comes out when scorched earth comes out when the center map comes out we can really get back into some fun arc stuff and we can enjoy it like we're supposed to so let's kind of run around real quick i just kind of want to quickly show you kind of the little ruins and stuff here and then we will go fly around and check out the actual map here but i'm going to do it a little more informal than usual typically we do just a little fly around with a little bit of music and you just get kind of some glimpses of stuff but i want to kind of take you around this one because i am pretty familiar with this map so we can actually check this one out quite a bit so you guys can really see it let's go into first person so you don't have to see me the whole time but we'll kind of look at it just lots of little cool lived in stuff even inside of these places there's lots of little like features and buildings and different little things that they've added they've done a really good job on this now like i said this is only about 30 percent done but it, it is pretty playable already i went around quite a bit checked out the spawns and kind of seeing if i can maybe start a playthrough here and i really think it's possible to do a playthrough here right now even though it is so early but there are going to be a lot of spots on the map where there's not really much but let's go ahead and kind of do a big around the world on this one it is a gigantic map so i'm going to miss some things as we go around but there's a bunch of little outer islands there's a whole bunch of caves a gigantic mountain on the both north and south end of the map there's a redwood there's a snow biome i think six biomes in total and just man just tons and tons of stuff uh there's let's see going to see if we can find this. There's also some custom dinos coming on this map too, which would be really, really cool to see. Let's go ahead and check this out. So this is kind of one of the little beach areas here. We'll kind of just fly through all of this. I'll try not to talk too much to where we're being annoying, but I'll at least kind of tell you some of the cool areas that we've built in the past. A lot of these upper areas have extremely flat areas where you can really check out and build. Uh, you know what? Should we turn off the fog just for you guys? Let's turn the fog off real quick. Let's go. So now, unfortunately, when you do that, it does show off some of the difficulties with arc and building stuff in. So you are going to see a little bit more of the terrain in the background. But you get an idea of how big this map is and how much stuff there is. But at least now you can see a little bit better. But there's tons of amazing building areas. I've built up here before. This is a really cool space spot up here on the river. We've got this little back area over here that's got another waterfall that's even better. This area over here is not done yet. There's a nice little island over here that is usually like a little undergrowth. I think it's like an obelisk or a cave. I can't remember which one. But right now, it's, it's literally just put here. It's not even added over here any terrain or anything like that. That's going to come later. This one over here is where I've built several times back when we played Eternal on this map. This is an amazing little spot right here. Also, I've been talking, just so you guys know offline, I've been talking to a bunch of the mod developers behind the scenes trying to see where they're at with a bunch of these big mods. And I, you are going to start seeing some of the big dino mods from Ark Survival Evolved come to Ark Ascended. So I'm definitely waiting for that. We're excited about that. But this is an incredible little building spot. There used to be a cave back here. I don't know if there still is. Let's go see if they've added the caves yet. It's a little dense. That's my, my one complaint about Ark Survival Ascended. So no cave yet. But this used to be a cave that would go all the way through the mountain area. So that's that. We could probably still check if there is like another secret cave or anything, but that looks like that one's closed off at least. And that goes back into like a giant cave trench. Over here is the desert area. There's quite a bit in the desert area to include a couple, what do you call them, pyramids over here that you can actually go into as well. We've built over here in these areas before. Very cool little spots here. You can use these as your own separate walls. And then the one of these is actually a, a cave system, but I don't know if that's done yet either. I'm assuming that it's not done yet but we'll do a quick fly around and just double check 
but this used to be underneath this used to be one of the caves so you can actually go in here and get an artifact way down there we can go under the map real quick just to take a quick peek and see if uh no i see like one of the little underground things but i don't think they've added that it's kind of hard to tell the way with the way arc does its little uh loading things it's a little hard but all right let's go fly boom okay back on it so we'll continue to fly around here. So like I said, this area not really done yet, just kind of laid out. Over here, this starts getting back into the area that is done a little bit more. Got some really cool red tree areas here. I think there used to be a cave back here as well, but it looks like that's not put in yet. And then there is actually this giant mountain range. We'll check out the top of it in a second. And in between there, there's a giant area as well. There's just lots of cool areas here. Oh, and I actually, you know what? I forgot an island out here, way out here. This is why we're kind of doing it informal. This map is so big that if I just did like a little fly through with some music, I would miss so many areas that would kind of not really do the map justice. And this, this map's incredible. This is a really cool area. Obviously not done yet either, but they've got the little uh, obelisks are kind of on their side. And then they're out here on these little side islands, which I thought was really cool. We got the pyramids that we already talked about here. And then we get into this little red forest over here. There you go. Get into this one. Obviously, the load in is going to be a little bit weird with me flying around this fast. When you're walking around on a dyno or flying on a dyno, you definitely don't notice it as much. And if we had the fog going, you definitely wouldn't notice it as much. But we wanted to get rid of the fog so you can really see. Lots of cool areas through here. Extremely, extremely flat ground. We got a decent amount of dyno spawns up inside of here. Kind of coming around to this back area. There are some floating islands in the middle, which we'll check out briefly in a second. But the main part of the island that's done is this area that we're in here. When you get up there, it's a little less done. But we'll check it out real quick so you can see it. But there you go. This goes around this whole mountain range back to where we started with that first waterfall. And then if you go up on top of here. Oh, there's another little inlet here. There you go. And like I said, there used to be a cave that would run all the way through from here to that waterfall that we checked out. And then up top, you have kind of like a little... A wyvern area up here so you got the actual lava trench here looks awesome is there an actual cave here you just a little through let me do the leave me alone command so we don't get pestered all the time boom there you go it shouldn't follow us around quite as much so lots of good resources inside of here usually you got some wyverns as well as some of the other like mantis and snakes and stuff like that down here i don't see any right now but definitely a good area for the wyverns uh, these actually look like different wyverns. I don't actually know what mod these are. Oh, these are the actual Amisa fire wyverns. So he's already got custom Amisa dinos in here. Good job, mod developer. That's another cool thing they've added already. But we got a bunch of eggs around here. I was wondering how they got their wyverns in. Very cool. Good job. And then you get up on top of here. It's kind of nice little green area again. Back down to the red forest down below us. We'll go check that out. That's actually pretty done over there too. It's starting to look pretty good. There's lots of these little bridges and stuff like this to get across a lot of these areas. Get to another one of the mountain ranges here. This is a giant grass mountain range. There used to be a ruins on top of here as well as some teleporting spots, which are really cool. Some like natural teleporting stones. There's also, there used to be a walkway across from these to all the islands. I don't know if they're going to add these. The islands are not done yet. If you guys go back and check out Ark Survival Evolved, you can get an idea of what some of this stuff looked like in the previous version. I don't know if that's the same look they're going to go with, but he's already got the framework ready to go. It's looking absolutely incredible. And then it would go, there was bridges all the way across. There was a really cool ruins building up on top of one of these here that looked amazing. Then you come across to here. Same thing on this side. There was a teleport spot, and then you got a really nice snow area. We'll come back to the snow area in a minute. want to make sure we don't miss this side of the map over here. So like I said, th this will be a little bit, a little bit more informal, a little bit longer overall video, but I want to show you all, show you all a bunch of this stuff. This is a really cool area with all the red stuff. Got a bunch of spawns over here. Looks really good. And then there's a center water area that goes through the entire, you can kind of see it where I'm at there in the middle of the map. It kind of goes through this entire center all the way to the other edge of the map and then all the way there. So the nice little river system through the middle. So you can actually take a raft. It's not safe, but you could take a raft through there to go through all that that area on this side we have redwoods we'll check that out in just a second once we finish this lower half of the map and then you got a bunch of this little cavern area over here i've never built over in this area but i know a lot of my friends built over here when we did modded adventures on here nice little caves over here we've already checked out that i don't know if this area is done down here kind of a little it doesn't look like it, it looks like a little desert area still needs some work down here got a really good layout though oh wow it goes way out there uh that's the other islands we already went to that's actually background stuff you can't go to that that's out beyond the actual thing is this the amisa rg i think that's the amisa argent all right and then over here we got another one of those islands we talked about there's actually another castle right there we'll check that out in a second there's another one of the obelisk i don't know if this one's done. this one looks a little more done but it still needs to be 
added some resources and stuff like that so it's got some work to do as well and then we got this really cool cave this used to be a spawn point over here too let's go check out this area here we'll go run inside here really cool little pyramid castle this looks like they've done a lot of work on this one this looks way better this has received some huge improvements it'd be awesome to build up inside here very cool man i always love when they add little ruin stuff like this this is what i always think sets maps apart these little extra works like these just a little extra stuff make it feel like you know a civilization used to live here so that's that one that is the little pyramid castle type thing over there and as we move around this way this is another little beach island over here that's got a castle on it as well go we'll check this out nice little castle area it's a pretty good place to build got lots and lots of room in this one if you block it off obviously if you're playing a big modded adventure it's be a little it's a little hard to kind of section this off but you can build your stuff inside of here and at least have some walls to protect you a little bit as you can see there's a nice little building in the middle it's just really cool man I, I love being able to do this plus if you're not a builder if you're like me and you're not much of a builder being able to have some buildings like this also it works way better than what it did in ASE ASE you had a lot of texture and clipping issues so this is already a lot smoother all right looking really cool there there's a little island over here on the I think we're on the southwest now there you go yeah we're on the far west of the map now so we're on the western edge of the map we'll come back around this way you got this big old island and it's separated from everything else and then we come back over here and then this is kind of the start of the redwood the redwood is huge there's a giant redwood area we've got this little outer redwood area here and as we get closer to the mountain it gets a little bit thicker this is typically flyer central there's usually yeah you can see there's a lot of flyers here on modded maps for some reason the the flyers get a little over out of, out of control playing a bunch of mods there you go tons of spawns over here so it's looking good this is this the is this the map that had the gloom forest this might be there used to be a gloom forest on this one it would be like a little bit darker than everything else i don't know if they're still going to do that or not you got some more redwood areas up here a little tree connecting this one i just love when they add stuff like that there's the start of that little river network there all right and then as the redwood keeps going back it does get all the way up to the mountain here and this goes all the way along the back side of the mountain the, i guess it's the north side of that mountain so we'll check that out but we'll go up here to the snow area first so as you come out of this one you start getting into the from the redwood to the snow area the snow area is gigantic got a really cool little outlet over here definitely build a gigantic base over there and then i did i think you can get to this one yeah this island is it will eventually be the extinction island right now it's a little bit empty so it's got some work to do out here but this is usually like all of your extinction stuff so extinction or aberration i can't remember which one it is i think extinction right so right now it's not put together or anything like that but that's how that'll look once it's done same with a lot of these snow areas these are also not done yet but you can kind of see what it's looking like out here in terms of layout oh actually this is pretty pretty decent good job man this mod developers put some work in on this map there's been a lot of work to get all this set up there you go moving into all these over here and this was actually a giant flat area that never had stuff on it on ase i hope they leave it that way because it's actually a really nice place to build if you want to come out come out here where it's almost always sunny all right all the way over to here you can just see how big the map is look how long we've flown and we're over here on this side of the map now all right and then you got a couple more of these outer islands this leads us back to that first island that i showed you that's not ready but same thing here not ready just they've got the outline outline of it going and then we get back into this inner area i didn't look on this mountain this looks like this mountain actually looks like it's pretty close to ready it's actually looking pretty good looks like it needs to be a little heavier on the spawns like i said they need some work on the spawns but once that's set up man this map is pretty close to being able to at least play on for a small playthrough probably not for like a giant server or anything like that or a big big modded adventure but i think you can still come in here and check it out but there you go so that's the first mountain range that we checked out over there that's the second one there there's a little river network in between the redwood that surrounds this giant mountain and then if we go on top of this mountain looks like this one's actually done pretty well too so awesome a couple little frozen areas i don't think there's any spawns up here it's always hard to tell in single player because you're not going to see the same spawns that you would see on a server but still gives you a good idea it goes all the way across here just a lot of areas to explore and check out very very cool all right, so there you go. I, I just kind of wanted to show you around the whole thing. There's so much of this map. I'm sure I missed a couple little nooks and crannies. There used to be a cave over here in the Redwood area, like down in this little center area here. There's also a couple other ruins areas that we didn't check out. There's this little one down here, just a little random spot here, a little bridge. This is a nice place to build early on. So you got stuff like that. There's crystal over there. There's a phoenix, but that's probably one of the mods that we have going. 
But there you go, man. That's kind of a quick look. Not quick look, but that's a look at the Amisa map. I think they've done an incredible job with this one. Can't wait to see what they do. It is cross-platform, like we said before. For upcoming updates, what they have planned in the future, they have much more land completion to include more resource and detail work, more buildings, ruins in each area, caves, dungeons, and normal different new ones. He's also kind of planned out some new different ones. There were some really cool sky dungeons that I really hope make a, a, a return. You would go down into a cave and then teleport to this upper sky area where it's like those ruin castles that we were in earlier. There, there's also underwater work to be done, custom boss arenas for Broodmother, Gorilla, and Dragon, and much more. Uh, some of the other people that I guess worked on it were helped out with the mod. Bigums, Exalog, Blue Dragon, DOA, and Anarchy. There's so many amazing people that have done a really good job with these mods. Whenever I give a shout-out to a mod developer, please keep in mind, anyone who worked on it, big shout-out to them too. I just don't always have the resources to find all the names. But thank you so much for checking this video out. We're still going with ARK Mod Spotlights. Uh, just at the end of the video here, just kind of let you guys know, I know that ARK is in kind of a dark place right now with the way that numbers have dropped and everything like that. But the people that I talk to that love ARK and play ARK a lot, are still loving ARK and playing ARK a lot. Don't listen to a YouTuber that's telling you that ARK is dead or that ARK is dying. Just play the game if you enjoy it. Ignore all that other noise. I heard the same mess about ARK Survival Evolved dying seven or eight years ago, and it lasted quite a while. So I think it's nothing to really worry about. If it's for YouTube views, obviously they're going to stress out when their numbers drop, but when it comes to just having fun, Ark Survival Ascended is still fun. It just needs more content to really keep us engaged. So hopefully it'll get that. But anyways, guys, that's just kind of a quick ramble at the end. I hope you guys have an absolutely amazing day. I will have more Mod Spotlights in the next couple of days. We've got a top five list coming. We've got another map coming. And we've got a big dino mod that's going to be really, really soon, guys. I can't wait to show you.